Hi Pisces, welcome to your July 2023 reading. Um, <clears throat> it's been a wild year so far. It's been a really, really wild year so far. Um, kind of even feels like this year didn't even happen. <laughs> like the first half of this year didn't exist. Um, so before we get started on your reading, uh, we are opening up Patreon subscriptions again. Yay. Um, it's a way to help support us sustainably. Um, we I'll be offering the first tier that we're offering. Um, I will be doing dropping all of the astrology rising sign information for the month. So every rising sign will get a video at the beginning of the month on the first. So you guys won't miss anything um, for the month. And then I'm going to do a mid month reading. So I'm not going to take anything away from the free YouTube reading. Uh, I feel like, um, like I still want to be able to give you guys these messages for free too. Um, but for those of you that would like to support us in more of like a sustained way, we're offering the Patreon subscriptions. Um, in August, we will have some of our love and science teachers and guides and just some of the people that we've had doing videos here. Uh, they will be offering workshops on a regular basis, so you'll be able to uh, tap into the knowledge. And what I love about the people that um, have joined Love and Science to build this community, uh, they're so individu individualistic. <laughs> so I just slow down to say that word. They're so individualistic and they embody everything that they're teaching and everything that they're saying. So um, it's, you know, they're not just like regurgitating the things that you hear on a regular everyday basis. They're, you know, like these people are, you know, they give real life examples along with spirituality in order to help get you through these really difficult times. So that's going to be really interesting. And um, I also have my readings open in July. The code twenty for 20% off the spring 23, S-P-R-I-N-G 23 code for 20% off is still good until June 30th. It'll be good until midnight mountain time on June 30th. So that's like 2 a.m. New York time, I think, Eastern time. So um, if you want to get a reading with me, especially one of the live one-on-one -on -one readings, um, now is the time to do it because it's going to be at its lowest price. And I would love to see your guys' faces too. So now is the time to get that reading uh, if you would like to do that. And you can help us continuing to build up. We're still getting furniture and stuff. And it's been really fun to be able to like build our life from scratch, but it's kind of stressful at the same time. So... All right, Pisces, let's see what it is that you guys are going to be surrendering for July. Let's see what you guys are going to be surrendering with the Power of Surrender card, Pisces. Oh, nice. Oh, I love this. Um... I think Libra got this one too. Oh no, Libra got, no, I think they got this one too. I don't remember. Surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with the uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you. Surrender to the magic of who you are. Um, it's such a great reminder because, man, we live in a world um, that can really beat us down, like very easily beat us down. It's not, I mean, like the world that we live in, if we believed all of the things, if we continue to believe all of the things that the world told us all of the time that we were conditioned and programmed to believe, 
um, we would constantly be failing ourselves and we would constantly be upset with ourselves and we would constantly be, um, you know, in this like painful revelation and like all the time. And I'm watching and, I, you know, I remember going through this so th the same thing, but I'm watching several of my friends go through some pretty significant changes in their lives uh, where their entire identity is like they're like no longer the person that they used to be and I don't know how many times that's happened and I think with Pisces with you guys it's kind of easy to be able to morph and flow through the changes and the reinventions and stuff like that I think that it might be a little bit easier for you guys to sort of see that see that you know, there's just a, a, a bigger idea of things out there. It doesn't have to be so boxed in. It doesn't have to be like so cookie cutter, right? So remembering that you're unique and remembering that everybody has a gift. Everybody has multiple gifts. Like this last couple of years, I was kind of shocked that I have more gifts showing up, like gifts that aren't of like the third dimensional world, right? And so um, I feel like that's something that you're really tapping into in July. You're recognizing all of these really amazing gifts that you have and how unique of a person that you are. I love that. Your uniqueness is what makes you like amazing. You know, like you're the amount of unique because, you know, we're not all the same person, right? We're not all the same person. Okay. So let's get some more cards, but I'm going to show you these three first. We have the moon. We have the page. I'm sorry, the queen of swords. Wow. I almost called her the page of swords, which is big fat. No, no, we're not calling the queen a page. The Queen of Swords, and then we have the Hanged Man. The Moon, the Queen of Swords, and the Hanged Man. So as you're coming into July, it seems like your path um, or the direction that you're going isn't very, like you have really no idea. You're like, I don't know where the fuck I am right now. <laughs> Probably a little bit lost, maybe a little bit lost, not really sure what direction you're meant to be going in. And that really is normal. I feel like the queen of swords is where you're sitting. Either you're not really sure about an air sign in your life, but um, then we have the hanged man, which is your energy. This is very Jupiterian energy. Uh, the hanged man is here to pause. You wouldn't think that Jupiterian energy comes from a pause, would you? But it does. And I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> Jupiterian energy, even though it's very expansive and it's really, it's here for growth and it's here for learning, it requires us to pause and reflect and to see the bigger picture. And the hanged man does just that. He puts himself upside down in order to enlighten himself. There's a halo around his head. He's not doing this just because he wants all the blood to rush to his brain. He's literally looking at things in a different perspective. He's done it on purpose. And you can even see the Jupiter sign. It's upside down here, but you can see it in his legs. So we're expanding by, and this is really the biggest thing, is coming out of that cerebral overthinking mind that can happen um, and going within, I feel like the moon is asking you like July, like the beginning of like July for you is going inward kind of month. It's a month where we're going to go inward and we're really going to see the expansion right within the enlightenment and the expansion within the moon is about trusting your intuition as well. And so that's another reason why we want to come out of our monkey brains and go into our heart space. The heart space is that place where you're going to find the, your intuitive answers in the best possible way. 
Um, for some of you, it's time for you to start saving some money because I feel like there's a point, and I don't know if this is saving money because you want to move out of a place, but it feels like there's some kind of independence that you're looking for. So we have the four of pentacles and the nine of pentacles on the bottom row. The important thing to remember when it comes to saving money is to not be like a miser, like not be miserly about it, not be like not try and hoard everything. The four of pentacles guy is someone who really likes to hoard his funds and like all of the things all of the time. Um, but the nine of pentacles is about being independent. So I feel like in some way, shape or form, there's this desire for you. And that might be that lost feeling in the beginning. You may be so used to depending on something in your life, like whether that's your parents, whether that's a partner, whether that is a job, like whatever the creature comfort is, right? The moon often speaks of our creature comforts. Um, so whatever creature comfort it is that once kept you safe, you're sort of, you're feeling like you're becoming unaligned to it is what this feels like. And oftentimes when we feel like we're becoming unaligned to something, we have to turn ourselves upside down so that we can see a different kind of perspective because we start to get lost in things. So let's clarify. Let's see what this moon. Okay. Yeah, it's the confusion I think of like, what do I do next? Where do I go? What's happening? How do I do this? Like all of the details, the if and what, when, where, how, yada, 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 like all of those things kind of feel a little bit overwhelming, it seems. Um, Knight of Swords with the lovers on the moon. The Knight of Swords, here's and like, the lovers for me, let's start there. The lovers, when I read the lovers, I mean, this could be about a relationship that you want to manifest in the future. But if you want to manifest a relationship like the lovers in the future, you have to have that relationship with yourself first. I don't care who you are. It's true. You have to find that wholeness within yourself first. And the way that you do it is, first of all, by not being an asshole to yourself, by not overextend, like not overwhelming yourself with all of the negative thoughts, this Knight of Swords. And also not rushing. There's no rush. Like this is not going to be an overnight process. Finding your wholeness starts with you being kind to yourself, you being a little bit kinder to yourself, you loving on yourself a little bit more. And that knight of swords is not loving on you. That is a rush. You also may want like a knight in shining armor to rush in also. And that is also not a thing. That only happens in 1940s movies, black and whites. I trust that doesn't happen. You are your knight in shining armor. Uh, the seven of cups. The seven of cups on the queen of swords. The seven of, this is confusion, right? Emotional confusion. And the queen of swords is very cerebral, like we talked about. She's really, really mental. And in July, you know, Mercury is going to be flying right through Leo. And <laughs> Mercury is going to be in, Mer in, in Virgo by the end of the month. If you want to find out for your own rising sign what the astrology is going to look like, those astrology readings on Patreon are going to be really good. But the seven of cups here, the reason why you're overthinking is because there are so many things that are happening. Like this is overwhelming. You know, it's confusion. It's overwhelming. There's a lot of stuff that's in your face right now. And so that's why the pause is necessary. I also want to suggest that you know, reflecting and giving yourself some pause also means that it's okay for you to find some joy, right? That three of cups, I don't look at the three of cups as a third party situation. For some of you, 
you might be in the middle of a third party situation. It's none of my damn business. If you are, you are distracted. Okay? So if you're in the middle of a third party situation, whether you're the person who's creating the third party or another person is creating the third party, it is a distraction for either one of you. And it is time for you to remove yourself from that. Just straight up. Like you can question yourself until the day is long. But when it comes down to it, you got to be honest with yourself about whether that's good for you or not. Okay. The three of cups for me, when I normally read it, is about celebrating with the people that you, that you are like-minded, right? That really have a good vibe with you. And I think that you finding some joy in your, in your life is going to help to surrender to the magic of who you are. You know, getting together with people who love you and enjoying your life and having some fun is really going to, can help bring you back to the joy of existence because right now existing is kind of hard let's look at what the four of pentacles oh nice so it may kind of feel like money is a little difficult right now but i think that things are shifting we have judgment at the bottom of the deck um we have the wheel of fortune on the four of pentacles the wheel of fortune in a big big way is telling you that there is a positive shift coming so if you're worried about money right now or you're worried about how you're going to become independent or how things are going to how all of that's going to turn out in divine timing which i've actually learned is our timing when we align with our path, we are in divine timing. But in divine timing, there is a shift that's going to be happening and you won't have to like hold on to everything anymore. And then I have the Ten of Cups on the Nine of Pentacles. Um, I really feel like, like I honestly want to say that I feel like you guys being single right now is the best thing for you. I think you're going to find a lot of joy in that. For those of you who are not single um, and you're in a relationship, I feel like you're trying to find your, uh, your own autonomy or like that individuality. It's very important to keep your individuality when you're in relationships with other people. Very, very, very important. Like I cannot stress that enough. And so there's this reflection that's happening. And um, I think that in a lot of ways, this month is really going to help you to learn more about what it is that you want in your future, more about what your happily ever after truly looks like. I think you're going to have more clarity at the, by the end of July. It's not going to be the easiest month to get through, but it's definitely going to be necessary. Okay, judgment here is... You know, like asking you to show up for yourself. Like now is the time. Like stop procrastinating on the things that you want to do that are going to bring joy and happiness into your life. Okay, Pisces? I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful July. And I hope to see you over on Patreon or in a reading in July. Bye.